Hi yogis in yoga land. Yoga fun with Scott. We're gonna have so much fun. The theme of our class is our happy Hagai. And that is our non-attachment. What are you attached to? Uh, it's also a form of uh, also non-hoarding. So you don't like what's the most possessive thing that you own that if something happened and it got taken away? Like how devastated would you be, right? So just be, just be conscious of that. The asanas that go with that is our mountain and our gomak asana, also known as the cow head. So we do those two asanas, the important asanas for our theme of the week, our apriha agai, non-attachment. No, our class is starting just now it's kind of I'm in the shade and it's not so hot but if you are outside and somewhere where it's hot remember to do the cooling breath so we'll bring the breath over the tongue exhale out the nose and we'll do three of them And anytime during your practice, you get way hot, just concentrate on that breath. Bring that breath upon. And we'll just keep doing those forward inhalations and our exhalation. And then we're going to do some of the, the Durga breaths. We breathe up, breathe and fill in the stomach. And then they exhale from the chest out and let the stomach last. So do, do your breaths. And I will create the sounds too. Tune us into our practice. So, we are going to now come on to all fours. And very gentle cat cows we're going to be doing. These are my candles. They also help in Aiden and listen to your heart. Why am I here? So we're gonna do something way awesome. 
is we're going to do our flower rotations. And my first grab out of my oils bag is my sweet orange. This is, will help give us, get the synovial fluids in our shoulder joints going, lubricated. See, friction to your oils. Okay, now bring the hands out here. We bring the fingertips together and we curl them under so the back of the hands come up, okay? And now, sweep the arms back. Now that we're in flower, got the pinkies touching and the thumbs touching, and then we open up. As if you touch your fingers and open up, this is your flower, and let it be whatever flower you want it to be. Your practice, your flower. Now we're going to come on all fours. And very gentle cat cows. Now I like to put the four fingers from the index finger to the pinky behind the neck. Lift up the pinky, lift up the ring, and you don't want to go where you lift up just so you can just barely squeeze. Just a slight little pressure on the center finger and the index finger. You don't want to press up more than that because that will just put too much strain on the top of the spine there. So it's like your eyes are just to the top of the mat. Alignment, touch the, touch the shoulders, and press down. If you just kick out with the knees and come back down, and that will help you find your alignment. We're doing asanas, doing your body. Asanas set up for your body. And now, I'm going to raise my, I'm going to turn around the other way because I'm going to raise my right arm up. Raise the arm up and then just bring it, this is also known as thread the needle. And I like to keep my left arm where it is. You can lift up, but there's no really no need to do that. This will help give us a nice shoulder stretch. And then open up, which reach out. And just drop it to the side. A little more of a stretch here. Okay. And now we're going to raise the left arm up. And now we'll, this time we'll bring the left arm out to the side and just drop it alongside you. Out to the side. And your legs are like, this is called puppy. Try to familiarize yourself with this, where we are here in this pose. Now we're gonna raise the left arm up with an inhalation, exhalation, that arm through. 
and come into our thread and needle. And you can be down on the forearms. You can be, you can come up to the, lift the hand, put a little pressure on the hand. Okay. And now, we're going to bring it through and up. And we're going to do a couple more gentle cat cows here. Now we're going to tuck the toes under. This is our, our puppy to our dog. Just um, another thing to do is when we're in our puppy, to come to the dog just like one full hand length back. Toes are curled under, now you just press up. If your heels don't touch, no problem, don't worry guys. Just, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna pedal our feet here. Inhalation up, exhalation right side. Inhalation up, exhalation left side. Now we're going to drop the knees and we're going to now drop the forearms and leave with the chin. This is a Zen asana to the front of the mat. And since this is a very important asana, we're going to be here for five breaths. Now we're going to come back up to grow our puppy. Oh, we're done. Okay. Now we're going to walk up to our hands, to our forward fold, inhalation, half fold, exhalation, full fold. This is a very important asana. We'll do five breaths here. Now, we're going to touch the shoulders, now prep into our spirit of ecstasy. Sweep the hands forward and come into our slight back bend. Come into three flowers. And now we're doing our asana of the day, our mountain pose. And we'll do some shoulder rotations here. Three back and three forward. And in mountain, we, we just do these vibrationals that are going through our body. So we're, we're tuning into those vibrations that we just created. And that's the whole idea of the mountain pose. And you don't have buoyancy on the knees, of course, and just your, the width can be wherever you're comfortable. You showed up, it's your practice. I like to give the, Shoulders are right back here. Okay. Now, we have more fun. Anytime you feel that your flower needs uh, fragrance, please give it the fragrance. We're going to do three flower rotations here. And now we're going to pinwheel our arms. If I have my pinwheel, but we don't have no, there's no wind blowing here. It's a very cool spot here. Now, do three arms. Now, here comes the challenge. We're going to, um, whatever hand you want to start off with, we're going to go forward with that arm for three. And now we're going to reverse the other arm backwards. So one arm's forward and one arm's back. And now we're going to reverse that. So I went right, my right arm went forward. Now I'm bringing my left arm forward and my right arm back. Okay. You want to get that synovial fluids in our shoulder joint going. Here's the fun. I'm going to step back with my right. So I'm going to be facing the front of my mat. 
bring the right arm comes up, we step back with the right. Touch the shoulders for our alignment. With an elegance and a grace, we bring the hands to the mat on the, can we do a lot of wrist uh, balances coming and this will get us prepped up for those wrists and when you are done with your wrist balances you just come and, and do this okay so now step back with the left and come into your come into your your dog a little inhalation forward drop the knees drop the forearms with leave the chin to our Zen asana press up Bhushan asana Now we're going to come into our puppy, tuck the toes under, set up now, come into our dog, step up, lift the right leg up, step up, step up with the left, open to our spirit of ecstasy, sweep the arms forward, and come into our flower rotations, okay? Can I pinwheel the arms forward? Pinwheel back three times. The left arm comes up. Step back with the left. Touch the shoulders, extend the arms, or warrior one. Bring the hands to the mat. Step back with the right. Inhalation forward, exhalation, drop the knees, drop the forearm. Leave with the chin. Press up into our our slight back bend here. And now we're gonna come and grow our puppy to our dog. And uh, we lift the center from the arms and the center torso. Tuck the toes under. Remember to bring the finger hand back one full length back. Raise the left leg up. Step up with the right. Touch the shoulders, come into our spirit of ecstasy. Sweep the arms forward. And now come into our, come into our flower rotations. Okay. And now we're gonna pinwheel the arms forward here. Pinwheel back. The right arm comes up, step back with the right. Remember to have the buoyancy on the knees. You don't wanna, you don't wanna get blown over. I'm so used to stepping back. You, the alignment here is the, your heel and your center arch of your foot, kind of like even with that, parallel with that. Touch your shoulders, stand up for our warrior one. Bring the hands to the mat. Step back with the left from our dog. A little inhalation forward, exhalation. Drop the knees, drop the forearms. Sun asana to the top of the mat. Press up into our Bujang asana. We're gonna grow our puppy to our dog. Little inhalation forward, drop the knees, drop the form, leave it to chin. And then we're gonna press up. Go up, puppy to our dog, come back into our forward fold here. Inhalation, half fold, exhalation, full forward fold. Come into our spirit of ecstasy. Sweep the arms forward. And all along the way, see how deeper your back bend becomes. And we're gonna do our flower rotations again.
And anytime you are very hot out here, so if you can curl the tongue, you just want to just have the the breath come over the tongue and exhale out the nose, and that will help keep you keep you warm, keep you cool. The cooling breath. So I'm gonna pinwheel my arms forward this way. Live, laugh, and love. My roses here. The left arm comes up. Step back with the left. Into our warrior one. We're gonna head on to here very shortly. Actually, we're gonna come down into our hands to the mat. Step back into our dog here. You can drop the knees as we've been doing. Uh, a little more challenging is our Utita Chaturanga when we inhalation forward. Exhalation with the, just come down. Inhalation up into our Urdhva Mukha Swanasana. Exhale into our Adva Mukha Swanasana. Raise the left leg up, step up, come into our spirit of ecstasy, come into our back bend here, do some more of our flower rotations. Pinwheel the arms forward. I usually do three forward and three back, so when the right arm comes up, we're going to step back with the right. Come into our warrior one, bring the hands to the mat. Step back with the left, come into Adam Mukha Swanasana. Inhalation, come down the knees, or we're going to come into the Uttita Chaturanga, to the Chaturanga. Exhaling. Inhale up into our Urdhva Mukha Swanasana. Exhale, Adam Mukha Swanasana. Gonna raise the right leg up, step up here, step up with the left, come to our spirit of ecstasy, our back bend here, and now we're gonna, while we are in our mountain, I like to just come into our flower rotations. We do a lot of the, the hands hidden the mat, so it kind of wears out your fragrance, so anytime your flower needs the fragrance, We'll help you tune in, okay? And now we are going to, I'm gonna face the other, so I'm gonna be coming down, facing my left, so pinwheel the arms forward. Come back three. Left arm is up, step back with the left. And come into our warrior one. And now here we're gonna come um, got my stand, I got buoyancy on my extended leg. I'm putting the, my hands parallel with my mat. Just to help you get alignment. And then I open up, reaching up. I like, I we flip the palms, helps with the, get that, get that back. Align, and we're doing asana, so we play here. I love asana, so we're gonna we're gonna reverse this into the warrior wherever you are. We're gonna, we're gonna guide the left hand down that left thigh, and now we bring the right arm up. And to have it, the more o open you are, the more elegant it is. Remember the buoyancy on the extended leg. And this knee doesn't go over your toes. Okay. We're gonna open up back into our warrior two. And now we are going to 
squiddle this rear foot up a little bit. We're going to come into a, a pars fantasana, and that is just like that, wherever you feel comfortable. But then we put the hand back and we grow a puppy to our dog. It's like one, here's the foot. So we got like a whole foot width closer, right? I like to call them squiddles because <laughs> we go like that. Okay. Now we're going to come into, this is a forward bend. Our, our arms can be elbow, elbow to elbow. Uh, you can clasp the hands this way. I like to lift up on the elbows and then kick out. And those of you that can deepen this, I like to do uh, this uh, reverse prayer. In this reverse prayer, it's, it's like this. And since I'm going to be exhaling over my right leg, I have my, my right thumb. My right thumb is over my left thumb, okay? So come here. We have a little, a slight back bend. Keep the elbows up. And now we just have a little buoyancy in this knee. Keep it, keep it straight like in our trikonasana. We're going to get there to show you that one. Um, this one, it, we don't come into the warrior knee. We have a, it's a forward inhalation, but you don't want to make sure you don't lock out your, your knees. Five breaths here, all the long. Inhalations are elongations, exhalations are deepening into the asana. Come back up with the side back bend here. And now we're gonna squiddle the foot out a teeny bit more to a and since we're here, I'm going to guide my right, right hand. My left hand is going to follow. We're going to open up into our trikonasana. Remember to have the buoyancy on the on the leg means so we don't get blown over. No, there's no wind, but uh, on the pressure of the on the joints also. I like to have my left hand touch my right, and now I brush the body and lift up to our freaking awesome and the back of my hand is down by my shin here wherever you feel comfortable and now we're going to come back into our reverse warrior warrior and little mulberry part bring the fingertips together and open up into our warrior too And now, we're going to very, very gently put the, put the right up, right up on my right knee. And now we're going to pinwheel here. And wherever you feel comfortable extending that arm, this is a side stretch or a pars von Kassen. Remember to have the buoyancy in the knee. And very gently on this right knee to the right elbow. Come back into our reverse warrior. Warrior, wherever you are. And now, we are going to Parvarita. This warrior, so I just turned around, don't you stay where you was are. From my, so what I like to do here is touch the shoulders coming to our, our warrior one. And with the next exhalation, we bring this left elbow outside this right knee for our Pavaritta Parasvankasa. And 
and now we can turn this into a a, a parvaritta trikonasana by just extending the leg. If you feel you gotta squiddle up a little bit on the extended leg, that's fine. And now you just brush the body and come into our parvaritta trikonasana. And now we're gonna come back in to our reverse warrior in Mulberry Park. Bring the hands together. Now, we're gonna deepen it some more by, I'm on my right leg. I'm gonna squiddle up with my left leg. And what I do here is come on the, come, come on the toes. But anyway, oh, I want to tell you, is anytime you find it too challenging to drop that heel, being on the being on the toes is perfectly okay. This just turns this into an Anand Jetty. So we'll do an Anand Jetty prep and warrior. So just a little bit of a difference with the heel down. So we'll experience that because we are coming in to our warrior, our flying warrior. So on our flying warrior, we got our warrior one stance here. I have the buoyancy. We're gonna touch the shoulders and extend the arms out into our, our spirit of ecstasy arms and we're, we're doing awesome. So we're gonna breathe, flap our wings. And if, you're, if you have it in you, you're welcome to stay where you are. You can work on lifting the toes up the more challenge is bringing the heel to your booty and kick out. We'll do five breaths here. And now come back into our reverse warrior. Come into our warrior two. Coming to our warrior one. Bring the hands to the mat. Sit back with our, sit back with the right, into our, our dog. Inhalation here. You can drop the knees in the forearms for the Zenasana or we can come down in our Utita Chaturanga. Exhaling. Inhale up into our Urdha Mukhsanasana. Come back into our dog and walk our feet up to our hands. And now we're gonna do some more flower rotations. We got the whole other side to do. And the challenge is for me to remember what we just did. <laughs> Pinwheel our arms. Stay, let's stay in our let's stay in our mountain. If we'll take a quick break, it's hot. Needs to get a drink of water here. Do a lot of talking. Oh, I gotta talk. The whole other side of the warrior. So Let's take uh, a few breaths here and just stay in, in our mountain. That was uh, a very challenging round we just did here. So. Okay. We're going to pinwheel the arms forward. Turn wheel back. The right arm comes up. Step back with the right into our warrior one. Remember your alignment. Open up into our warrior two. And now we're gonna come into our reverse warrior. 
This guy the right, then this upper part of your leg. Come back into our warrior two. And squiddle this right foot a little forward. And we're gonna come into our Aparthvantasana. Or Aparthvantasana. Aparthvantasana. <laughs> so I bend over the left leg. Um, we are going now. I'm gonna remember the arms. I was telling you can bring the hands to the elbows. You can. This is a, a, a forward mutra. We extend out when you come down. And since I am gonna be exhaling over my left leg, I'm gonna have my left thumb over my right thumb. Slight back bend here. Exhalation over the left leg. And now, since we're here, we're gonna come down, squiddle the right leg open. We're gonna come into our Utita Trikonasana here. Like just brushing the body. <laughs> and learn how the buoyancy in the knees that are not locked up. Come back into our warrior in Little Mulberry Park. Warrior, wherever you are. Warrior, warrior the elegant. Sorry. That's the name. Open back up into our warrior two. <laughs> and now, with an essence and an elegance, we're gonna bring the left elbow on top of the right knee. And now we're going to pinwheel here. <laughs> and extend. Wherever you feel comfortable for your arm to be, not so much weight on that left elbow. Come into our reverse warrior. And now we're going to Pavaritta. That to so come into our warrior one. Now on exhalation, bring the right elbow outside the left knee in a parvavitta parsvankasana and now since we're here we're going to extend this leg a little bit you can squiddle up with the back of it and one, one foot width forward and now we'll brush the body here for a parvavitta trikanasana Come back into our reverse warrior, our warrior the elegant. Open up into our our warrior. Come into our warrior two again. Okay. Come into our reverse warrior. Now. We're gonna come on to our flyover. So remember, we'll come on the lift the lift the toe for our and jetty. And now you're welcome to stay where you are, or you can just come into our And then drop that and come back into our reverse warrior. Open up warrior two. Couple of breaths here. Coming to our warrior one. 
And now we're going to bring the hands to the mat. Step back and come into our Adam Uksumanasana. Inhalation, come down, drop the knees to the Zen Asana. And we're going to come into our Utita Chaturanga, exhale Chaturanga. Inhale up, Urdhva Muks Svanasana, exhale Adam Muks Svanasana. We're going to step up to our hands. We're going to do some more flowers. Come into our spirit of ecstasy. Come into, now see how far back your back bends are. And we have our flower rotation. Okay. And we'll roll our shoulders. Come into our mountain. This is our asana of the week. We're going to do, we'll do five breaths here. And just tune into the ting, of the, the ting, tingleness. There's vibrations going on. Okay, now we're going to come into a forward fold here, a half fold, exhalation, inhalation here, exhalation, forward fold. Okay. Now we're going to come into our We're going to do come it, into do our, it the do it our, the good times. our chair pose. Ukatasana. Remember here, to be as the width where you want to be. Okay. And now, it's the chair pose, so we come in. Exhalation, and here also like uh, the warrior knees. Don't let the don't let the knees go over your toes. A little deeper here. Let's bring this left elbow over to here. So bring this left elbow as outside the right. You're welcome to stay here. The, a bit more challenge is to drop the. Left hand and brush the body with the right. Come back up into our Ukatasana and I'll show you on this side. We're gonna bring the right elbow outside the left. Exhalation. Now drop this right arm down. Okay. Now come back into our Ukatasana and bring the and now come back into a let's roll the shoulders for a, a mountain pose. Okay, now we're getting ready for our, our balance sequence. We did our warrior three. Which I'm very proud of you. It's a balance pose. Um I haven't done Yoga, the weather's been kind of iffy and uh, the holiday, so I missed a few days. So we are going to have a challenge. We're going to add our Ekahasta Padangust Asana to our Nataraja Asana. And the Nataraja Asana is our, our dancer, and this is Nataraja Asana. The, and that's his dancing pose, and that's the the dancer is named after him. Uh, along this way, anytime you, it's very challenging. So just come into it. We're going to do like thirty breaths along the way, and if uh, anytime you feel that you had enough, just we'll meet up in our our forward fold, okay? <laughs> and just play with the buoyancy when we're there. So now, here's the fun. Um, find a leg that you want to balance on. We, we always have to do one leg or the other. I'm going to be balancing on my left. I'm going to clasp my hands. I'm bringing my 
knee to my hands. And now we're gonna yogi toe lock. Yogi toe lock is the index finger and your center finger in between the big toe and your second toe, okay? And I like to put the left on the waist and kick out for three breaths here. And also concentrate on not locking out. What I like to do when I open up here, I like to come back in and open up with the this upper part of my leg, and now I kick out with my a lower part of my leg. Now come back in. I'm gonna drop it to set up for the other side. We are now going to pick up the foot in the, my right hand. I'm going to now, my hand's on the outside, I'm working my hand to the inside. And the difference between the hand being on the outside and the inside is, is uh, the, the, the shoulder joint. So it's less strain if you have it on the, on the, with the hand on the inside. And then you flex the foot, bringing the toes to the shin. Uh, this time we, for our balance, we touch the we touch the shoulders with the left, extend up. Inhalation, exhalation, we just come forward. We're gonna do ten breaths here. That might be a bit challenging now. That is a bit challenging actually. <laughs> that is a bit challenging, I'm like gonna say. You know, that's why I have to do yoga every day. If I miss a day or done a day that's been to a class somewhere that's not as challenging as mine. It's still a lot of work, so I'm gonna hug this knee in again. And now we're gonna drop this. Big inhalation, exhalation. We're gonna come over, fold over. Our inhalation, half fold, exhalation, full fold here. Enough. We're gonna set up for the other side. I would have deepened it by more by extending the leg out. We'll get into that next time. Right? Now we got to start closing our class up. So uh, there are another variation of doing them, but I'm skipping that. So we're going to come here. I'm going to be on my right leg. So whenever you feel you're ready, just no. bring this. Yogi toe lock, kick out for three. And now open. And kick out for five. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you because I want to show you with my arm extended. So you already saw the other side. So. Okay? Touch the, extend up. 10 breaths here. Okay. Now we're gonna hug this in. And now we're gonna come into our forward fold here. Okay. And now we are gonna come back into our Ukatasana to our Malasana. 
and get ready to do our seated asanas to come into closing our class. Okay? So whenever you feel comfortable, we're going to breathe. On the exhalation, we're going to be bringing the elbows to the inside. We do have another flower here. So, grab your fragrance, your flower. We're going to add our, our, our blackbird and our crane, okay? So, on the exhalation, our legs, so this is like a, a wide stance uh, Ukatasana. And then you can get ready for your flower here. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to drop my left hand down and sweep my right hand up. With a good, good size stretch here. Five breaths here. Come back into our flower. Drop the right hand down and sweep up with the left. Annie Chine, she's one of the most inspiring women in the world right here. Okay, now we're going to come into our, we're setting up now for our blackbird. And blackbird is the knees, this part of our tricep, and up the upper part of the, closer to the shoulder is our crane. So we're gonna see if we can, we're gonna do 10 breaths, but we're gonna both divide them up between two sets of fives. Five in our blackbird and five in our crane, okay? And look for a four, four leaf callover. <laughs> and then to come back on that, we will just bring to our feet and we'll rotate our hands out for three breaths here. And now we're going to come into our crank. And now if you can't lift the toes, don't worry, you can at home, you can put a block. Okay. And now we are going to come down in to our Paschimottasana. Paschimottasana. We'll do a, we're going to come into our Paschimottasana and we're going to add our Parasvantasana here. So, again, <laughs> need a drink of water here. So, remember I tell you, touch the, touch the shoulder, raise up, inhalation here. Exhalation. We're coming forward along the legs. Lift, lift the knees up. Like this helps us get the... Extend out. We're going to put our fingertips near our booty. For five breaths, we're going to come in 
This is very good for the tricep into our pars fantasana. And then the toes come close to the mat as possible. Don't pinch the neck. Okay. Touch. Then we're going to come into our forward fold here. Now, since I'm facing you, I'm going to hug in my right knee. And we're going to come into our our Janyu Shir Sasana here. Okay. And exhalation. Remember this uh, this part of our shin. This is a very very important asana. This shin does uh, concentrate on it rotating forward. This, uh, the breath sort of elongation, the exhalation is deepening, so you want to work our, our fingertips towards our toes. And now, we're going to, my legs set up in the center of the mat. We're going to, yogi toe lock. <clears throat> Again, well, we're just going to, we're going to open up here. This is the Pavarita Janyu Shirsasana. This is the one asana to me that really explains the, the elongation. The inhalation is the lengthen and the exhalation is the elongation. We're going to do this one, we do 10 breaths. By the time we get to 10 breaths, our finger, this right fingertips should be touching the toes or very close to the toes um, okay so I'm gonna be coming down my left leg this right fingers touch my right shoulder and I bring it up so I'm looking over here I'm gonna see if I can yogi toe lock between my big toe and my second toe on my left side We're getting it. <laughs> We're gonna now. Oh, the cow face, the asana of the week. Yes, we're going to cross. Bring this right leg over. Bring this left leg in. The right leg is over my left. Touch the shoulders, raise both arms. I have a strap or my leg using my towel. I'm going to be dropping my left arm down. So I can show you here. And I'm bringing my right arm behind. And this is the cow head. Or go makas. Ten breath. And now we're going to extend the left leg again. And we're going to set up for our Marichi Asana. So um, we're going to add a Parvaritta here. So I'm just going to bring my right arm. I'm going to turn around this way for a gentle Pavaritta Marvitsi Asana here. And now we're going to come into our full Marvitsi Asana. And then bring this 
right hand behind. Keep the elbow, the shoulder away from the ear. You'll hear that a lot in yoga. Uh, this is also I like to give the wave. <laughs> and now inhalation this, and then we twist to bring this left elbow outside my right knee. And this is a very important asana. We're going to do 10 breaths here. And now we're setting up for the other side. So we're going to come, the shield again, coming to our Paschimottasana. Five breaths here. Our transition to our Purushmantasana will be our Ardhanya our our Asana. <clears throat> we'll do three breaths here. And then we're going to press up into our Purushmantasana for five breaths. And now we're going to come back into our forward fold again. As I right leg is lined up at the center of the mat. Hug in the right leg. And now we're coming into our like or chain you fuse last one. This will be five breaths. And Yogi Tolak here to open up. And you know, some, one side you might be able to do a lot better than the other. And now with Parva Ritta. And now we're kind of coming to our Gumbakasana or non attachment. To things material otherwise. What are you attached to that flips your switch? Mm. Something, if something should happen in that situation. <laughs> I think we're on the same side as... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happens. Um, all right, so my left is over. I drop my right arm, the elbow here, and I bring my left behind. We do 10 breaths here. Now, extend the right leg, and then we're just gonna do a slight twist to the, to the right side. 
and now come into our Maharishi Asana with the right elbow outside and keep the foot flex keep the elbow down keep the shoulder away from the ear do 10, ten, ten breaths here that we're going to come into a, another Tashimotasa and now we're going to come in to another Parasvantasana from Bhartan Dasana here for three breaths And you're welcome to stay here. We did three, if you have it in you. Even if you just give a little of the arc to the back, it's good. You can lift up. Okay. And we'll do another forward fold. Okay. Now, we are going to set up for our closing sequence. We are going to do our, we'll do our sunburn. Some more. We'll do a couple of the cat cows here. Now, I'm going to tap my shoulder, stand out, and stand out with the left. That's inhalation here, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation. We'll do five of these. Two more. Last one. And now we're gonna take a slight child pose. We're gonna take a child pose here. You can take a white child pose if you want to. They should just open more vertical. Just a little inhalation. We're gonna come into our puppy. We're going to tuck the toes under, we're going to press up in to our... <laughs> we're going to do our down dog down for 10 breaths. <laughs> so we can really experience our down dog. <laughs> and now we're going to turn this our down dog into our shoulder stand because this is another very important asana here. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> play around here. Play around here. Um, we're going to go in steps. The shoulder stand is very challenging. But this is an all levels class, all welcome. So there's modification, nobody's better than nobody. Some of us are more advanced in our practice than others. And like I say, all is welcome. But I'd like to show, um, and the practice is, is a dedicated practice and where you will go in, in time. So we are going to come into our dolphin, right? From our dolphin, we are going to come into our, our headstand, okay? But along the way, 
there's it's an inversion and you can come in and out if you're just going to do the dolphin when we get up to our the full headstand uh, see if we can do 15 breaths okay and if you roll down no big deal you can come back in uh, the important part of this is when we are done we will meet in we, we will meet in our in our child pose okay so, come back in we're gonna start at our dog now we're gonna drop the we're gonna drop the shoulders and we'll drop the elbows and we bring the head we're gonna bring the head to the mat and you can work here with your legs walking in and out dropping the knees and just play here those of us you walk and you're more than welcome to stay right where you are those of us that are going to deepen us we're going to drop the elbows we're coming up into our headstand so okay <laughs> And just walk your feet, you can stay right here. Now, come and we're coming to our child. Walking in down. Okay. <clears throat> now, our from our headstand. We're moving on to our closing sequence, and in our closing sequence, there's a shoulder stand. And we're going to get there. <coughs> Touch the shoulders, and we're going to come back into our Passion Motasana again. Now, we're coming down here. We're going to hug the knees in and we're going to rock side to side. Now, the full shoulder stand. You can put your booty on, on top of your palm, extend the leg out. You can come to a lower part of your booty, to here. To deepen it, we bring it one full hand length down more, about a half a hand. You're welcome to stay here. If you have it in you, we can drop the legs behind and come back to the floor. There's a little bit more of the plow. Halasana. To come out of here very, very gently, bring the, keep the knees to the chest, hold it tight, and just roll down one vertebrae at a time. And we're going to come into a, another Pashimotasana. And while we're here, we're gonna add a butterfly here. So just bring the this is very good for the the hip joint there. And we'll like our butterflies, where are we gonna go? And actually, we can do a Kalabate breath. So let's do a, a passive inhalation and a forceful exhalation. You can be through your nose, out your nose, in your mouth, 
Out of your mouth, in, in your mouth, out your nose, or vice versa, in the nose, out the mouth. So whatever you feel comfortable with. And now, we are going to hug the knees in again and come back up into our shoulders. And I dropped it to a little bit of the last thing here. Come back into our shoulder stand. Our Salam Basarmi Gassan. Extend the toes, let's come back into our forward. Now, we're gonna add a wheel here. This is the ultimate uh, age reversal here. We're gonna do three sets of fives. We have a lot of the wrist actions here. So here. And then the windshield wipers. These are, these are windshield wipers. So I do like that, okay? So, three sets of five. We're gonna do, we're gonna come in here for five. We're gonna go up for five. So we got three sets, okay? So this very, we do a lot of wrist action here, so. I'm gonna bring the feet up to your, the heels up to the booty best you can. And you can stay right here. You can, yeah, just press up here. You can also bring your hands underneath and come in like this. Okay. And those of us that are going to try to deepen it, we're going to come into our full extension of our wheel. The fountain of youth. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to bring that. You get the fingertips closer to my shoulders here. On inhalation, we're gonna lift up for five. And come back down. Wrist rotations and windshield wiper for five breaths. And set up. Some days are better than others. Don't beat yourself up. You showed up. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of you. Okay. Now, this is our our last one. So, see how many more times past five, up to ten. Okay? That's the challenge. If it's too challenging, don't worry. So 
put the knees in and let's rock side to side. A little massages here. And then we're gonna come back up into another shoulder stick. Come into our and uh, we're gonna end in a boat pose by Yogi Tolak in here. Hug the knees in again. I'll face you. So you can see what this is all like. We're gonna get ready for our. We're getting ready for our shavasana. Okay. And now very gently, we're coming into our Shavasana. Okay. We're in Shavasana. You can extend your hands out wide and feet out wide. You can put bolsters under here. You can be rolled on either side with your, oh, we're rolling towards you. So I'm in my right side, my left palm is on my right cheek and my right hand is on my crown chakra. Do that, or I'll just come here and be. And this is our reward of, and in this uh, movement here is, we have all this uh, energies in our body. So I like to take this right arm, cross it over and come down like a, a clockwise uh, direction here for five times. And now we're going to take the left and brush it over from the right and come clockwise this one, right? And now bring the fingertips together in the center of the body and we brush the body and open up. And these are meridians, the chakras, the wheels, the meridians. We have our muladhar chakra. And the color is red, and that's our earthly element. We got our Vadhisthana, and that is our water element, and that is orange. We got our We got our mana pure, and that is our fire and the element, and the color is yellow. We got our anahata. Our heart chakra, we have uh, the element is air and the color is green. We got a vishhara and the element is space and ether. The color is blue. We come up to the third eye, our jhana chakra, and the, the color is a violet. The, the element is uh, consists of all, all the elements. And we come up to our Satrava Chakra, the crown of the head, and that is a kaleidoscope of colors. And that consists of all the elements also. So these are the chakra energies of our body. We keep the practice of yoga, the meditation, helping the the flow of the of this energy in the positive way. So we can come onto our side, and we are coming into our closing of our class now. We are going to home. And in our home, um, 
if you don't enjoy if you don't enjoy almond you may you may just we're gonna um the fun with you because it helped me lower my tongue. And any vibration that you get in there from the chant of pituitary glands and the penile glands. Uh, the omen, the stagnations, get the vibrations. Disperse the stagnant blood and that's the importance of omen. Okay? All right, my yogis, Satnam. Namaste. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. May the words and actions of my teachings contribute to the health and well being of you.